एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मोनिका एंड आई एम लीगल इंटर्न एंड एक्सिस इन कंपनी एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज को पार्सनर एंड राइट्स एंड ड्यूटीज ऑफ द को पार्सनर वट इज को पार्सनर बाय डेफिनेशन अ हिंदू जॉइंट फैमिली को पार्सनरी बॉडी इज अ नैरोअर दैन द हिंदू जॉइंट फैमिली इट सेल्फ को पार्सनर वॉज अ मेल मेंबर ऑफ द फैमिली वो ओपटेन द स्टेक इन द को पार्सनरी प्रॉपर्टी थ्रू बर्थ प्रायर टू द बिगनिंग ऑफ द हिंदू सक्सेशन एक्ट Under Hindu law, a co-parsoner is made up of the eldest member of Hindu undivided family and the next three generations. This indicates that in a co-parsonary, a list of co-parsoner includes the uh, family's leader, karta, as well as his sons, grandsons, and great grandsons. This taken co-parsonary property is obtained by birth according to the Mitakshara system. Whenever a son is born into the family, he automatically becomes a co-parsoner in Hindu undivided and inherits. his undivided part in the co-parsonary property this means that the proportion of co-parsoner in a property is in fixed it can be reduced or increased as a result of the birth or death of any other co-parsonary member one stake in the property on the other hand remains undivided the rights and duties of a co-parsoner in the hindu undivided family communal interest and possession a co-parsoner does not have exclusive custody of or any particular stake in the co-parsonary property according to hindu law when it comes to their entitlement of such property the members of a co-parsonary are united share of the co-parsoner because of a co-parsonary follows a mudakshara method a co-parsoner share is determined by survival when there is a birth or death in the family the share changes only when a par- partition occurs does this share becomes defined right to join possession every co-parsonary member is entitled to shared possession and enjoyment of the ancestral property right to maintenance a co-parsoner is eligible to get support from his family's inheritance this money will be used to support his wife and children he is entitled to money from the land in the event of his children's marriage or any other ceremony restraining improper use If any co-parsoner misuses the family's estate or attempts unauthorized altering the material condition of the estate other members can restrain him the hindu law under the hindu law right to demand partition both minor and adult co-parsoners have the right to claim a partition of the family property under hindu succession law right to alienation under normal circumstances no member of a co-parsonary including the karta has the right to alienate his stake in the ancestral estate however only the family's karta has a authorized to sell joint family property if there is a legal requirement or for the benefit of the estate or to fulfill other essential tasks like religious obligations right to manage a hindu undivided family karta has the authority to handle the family estate however this has no bearing on the other co-parsoner's interest or stake and with that i would like to conclude my topic i hope it is clear to you all and if you guys are having any uh, doubts or queries you can ask me in the comments thank you.